Welcome back to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us again. In our previous video, we covered the basic nutritional requirements of chickens, how much treats to give them, and the basic overview of what chickens can or cannot eat. So in this video comes the exciting part. What are the treats you can give your birds? This is quite the list, but before we get going, please make sure to give us some love by clicking the like and bell button and by subscribing to this channel. With that said, let's begin. Now, here's the actual definitive list of treats your chickens can or cannot eat. Broccoli. Yes, broccoli is safe to feed your chickens. It is high in numerous vitamins and low in fat. Mine prefer it cooked. You can give it to them in a suet cage to keep them packing all day. Bananas. Yes, very nutritious, and most hens love them. High in vitamins B6, C, and A, and also contains niacin, iron, magnesium, and other trace elements. Now you know what to do with those brown, spotty bananas. Grapes. Yes. High in B vitamins plus A and C. Also contains many trace elements such as calcium and copper. Given small amounts once a week as the sugar content is high. Rough chop first to aid digestion. Pineapple. Yes. Although high in vitamins and minerals, pineapple is not a favorite with most chickens. Excessive consumption can cause bezoars like fiber balls to occur in the crop. Feed sparingly as high in sugar. Tomatoes. Yes. Chickens love tomatoes. Tomatoes are high in vitamin C, K, and B9, fiber, potassium, and antioxidants. Chickens cannot eat the plant, leaves, or flowers. They are poisonous as they contain solanine. Celery. Yes, a great source of vitamins B2, B6, C, and K. High in trace minerals such as molybdenum. It also contains potassium, fiber, and calcium. Not a favorite though, so try chopping it up to make a more acceptable celery treat. Strawberries. Yes. Strawberries are a favorite treat. They are high in trace elements and vitamins A, C, and B9. They also contain an anti-inflammatory component called quercetin, rich in antioxidants. Apples. Yes, but apple seeds contain small amounts of cyanide, so remove seeds if you can. Chop apples to aid digestion, although your chooks will peck at windfalls. Applesauce is good too. Grass. Yes, but long strands of grass can cause crop impaction, so feed short grass clippings as long as the grass has not been treated with chemicals. Rice. Yes, white rice has little nutritional value, so brown or wild rice is better. Never feed uncooked rice as it will absorb water in their gut and expand, causing possible blockages or perforation of the intestine. Oranges. Yes. Oranges do have some amazing health benefits. Chickens do not, in general, enjoy oranges though, but you could try adding it to a fruit salad. Asparagus. Yes, asparagus is a powerhouse of vitamins, minerals, and dietary fiber. Chickens generally will not eat it, but if they do, make sure they don't eat too much as it can taint the taste of the eggs. Crickets. Yes, 100 grams of crickets contains 12.9 grams of protein, 5.5 grams of fat, and 5.1 grams of carbohydrates, plus numerous minerals and trace elements. A very healthy snack, but feed in moderation because of the high protein content. Onions. No, although onions contain many vitamins and minerals, chickens really should not eat them. Large amounts of onions can cause hemolytic anemia. Potatoes. Yes. Potatoes cooked or raw can be given to chickens, except for the green areas which contain solanine. It is poisonous for chickens. Leaves, plants, and flowers should also not be eaten. The potato is a member of the nightshade family and as such is toxic. Bread. Yes, bread soaked in milk is something that used to be given when fattening hens for the pot. They do love bread, but it is nutritionally poor for them, so feed in moderation. Chocolate. No. Chocolate contains theobromine, which is toxic to chickens, and who in their right mind would share the chocolate with them? Certainly not me. Cabbages. Yes, very healthy and is packed full of trace minerals and vitamins. You can hang it as a tether ball or stuff the leaves into a suet container where they can pluck at them whenever they want. Popcorn. Yes, surprisingly, popcorn contains a high number of vitamins, including A, E, and K. It has a lot of minerals too. Plus fiber, as long as you don't add salt or sugar to your corn. Raisins. Yes, but feed in extremely small amounts. Large amounts of raisins can make your birds very sick with renal failure. They will also put on weight quickly due to the sugar content. Blueberries. Yes, chickens can eat all sorts of berries, and blueberries are one of their favorites. Packed full of vitamins and minerals, blueberries also contain antioxidants. Be aware that their poop will turn blue. Cucumbers. Yes. Cucumbers are a great treat on hot days. They contain a lot of water, so it's a good way to stay hydrated. 
healthy too, full of vitamins and minerals, also contains anti-inflammatory properties. Cooked rice. Yes, rice is approximately 85-90% to carbohydrate with very small amounts of minerals present. Although chickens can have it as a snack, it is of little nutritional value to them. Avocado. No, the leaves, skin, and stone are highly toxic to chickens. Technically, the flesh is okay to eat, but I wouldn't just in case. Cherries. Yes, cherries are full of vitamins A, C, E, and K, and minerals too. They also contain colon, which is essential for chicken's health. You can serve cherries fresh or cooked with no added sugar. Pumpkin. Yes, pumpkin seeds are said to aid in the prevention of worms. Pecking at a pumpkin will keep them busy for hours too. Meat. Yes, just trim off excess fat from the meat. You can give them whole carcasses of turkey or chicken and they will peck them clean. They are also a great source of protein. Banana peels. Yes, they can eat the peel but generally don't. If you use a food processor to grind them small enough, they will eat them. Cheese. Yes, good source of protein and calcium. Feed in moderation as it's a dairy product and chickens cannot process dairy well. Watermelon. Yes, stacked full of vitamins and water. Watermelon is a refreshing treat for hot summer days. If you puree then freeze it, your girls will enjoy watermelon slushies. Carrots. Yes, raw or cooked carrots are full of goodness. They can eat the greens too. I usually rough chop them for my girls. Don't give canned carrots though, they are likely high in salt. Cantaloupe. Yes, scores highly for vitamins A and C, lots of B vitamins too. They will pick the rind clean, and the seeds are good too. Like most fruits, feed in moderation. Otherwise, they may get diarrhea. Peaches. Yes, they love peaches. This is another fruit high in nutritious goodies. The pits contain cyanide, so remove them before feeding to the hens. Sweet potatoes. Yes, extremely healthy and packed with vitamins. The girls are unlikely to bother with them unless they are cooked, so minimal salt or butter addition, please. Kale. Yes, another healthful item for chickens. Vitamins and minerals abound. It can be given cooked or raw. I usually stuff a suet holder full of leaves and leave it for them to peck at. Melon. Yes, very healthy. They can pick at the rind and eat the flesh and seeds which they adore. Remember to feed in moderation or they can also get diarrhea. Flowers. This is a yes or no answer. Some flowers are healthy for them, others not so. In general, they seem to avoid toxic plants, but you should check your garden first. Mealworms. Yes, mealworms are very high in protein, so moderation, please. A great healthy tidbit, especially for the time of the molt. Worms can be given fresh or dried. Eggs. Yes, of course they love eggs. Give eggs scrambled so they don't recognize them as eggs. You don't want them to start egg eating. Cereal. Yes, they can, but should they? Many kinds of cereal contain added vitamins and minerals but are high in carbohydrates. Several brands are also very high in sugar. Cat food. Yes, actually, cat food dry or wet should be fed as a rare treat. It can be fed to poor birds in very small amounts and not every day. Dog food. Yes, but dog food should only be given as a rare snack. It can also be used when your hen is sick. That's quite the list, but if you think that's it, we'll cover a few more in the next video. If you'd like to backpedal a bit and see the basic overview of what sheets chickens can eat, click the link below. And please don't forget to like and share this one with your friends. You can also check out our website at thehappychickencoop.com for the full detailed list. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you in the next video.